So millennials are fighting back against Gen Z after some Zoomers on TikTok called to cancel rapper Eminem for being problematic and controversial. So millennials have come to his defense calling him a lyricist and claiming that new rappers simply mumble their way through their songs. What? Gen Z's trying to what? Cancel Eminem. Gen Z's trying to cancel Eminem? Honey, that's cute. Listen, little kitties, let me make this quite clear. This man was around even before you were here. So what, you're all mad because the man was a lyricist while all your rappers are a mumbling gibberish? No, go ahead and shut your mouth. Better yet, go and sit your ass in time out because boy was running laps even before you could walk. Hell, boy was spitting balls even before you could talk. So no, I'm afraid you're null in, boy, dear. I'm afraid your opinion don't matter here because one day you'll grow up and see how everyone went and forgot about Z. I because I saw some Twitter comments of even millennials even trashing her and going, oh my God, we sound more like baby boomers more and more to the day. <laughs> you know? Doing that Eminem rap. I don't know. Like, maybe she was trying to get a date from Eminem. May I mean, <laughs> Stan, if you're listening, <laughs> that was that wasn't too shabby, right? But the lyrics in question are: If she ever tries to fucking leave again, I'm gonna tie her to the bed and set this house on fire. And Eminem thrives off being canceled. It's it's no secret. I mean, literally, his most recent track, Tone Deaf, Tone Deaf raps about haters trying to cancel him uh and then you know the thing that kind of cracks me up about this marissa is this really it kind of reminds me with the whole idea with the dr seuss right trying to censor and ban the public from even picking up any kind of source of material it's like i think about tipper gore al gore's wife about how she always wanted to put a label on every little thing that people listen to this is like the least bad thing well, that I've ever heard of. Just to go on that <laughs> lyric, Rihanna, who is featured in that song also, has come out and said that those lyrics were not to support violence against women, but it was to bring a spotlight and to show it happens and to actually fight against it. So oh. she had a great article about that because people were attacking her for being on a song with Eminem. Now, other songs he does talk about killing his ex <laughs> and his mother. <laughs> So I'm not yeah, no, yeah, thing. exactly. But at least on that one. Killing her while she's pregnant. I Look, mean, the, the, end, the yeah, song the 97, end. Bon and Clyde. Yes. At the end of the day, if you don't want to listen to it, if you don't want to read it, don't listen to it, don't read it. It's a very simple thing. You don't have to ban the world. You don't have to stop publishing things. You don't have to do all that thing. Just don't, you know, turn the TV off. Change the channel. No, Change absolutely. I mean, it's the same thing like what you said about ex-president Donald Trump. If you don't like his tweets, don't follow him. I mean, the guy is the leader of the free world, the United States, and we're literally censoring him from being able to get his message out. I might not necessarily agree with the guy, but I think it's really crazy that we're giving these big tech companies that much leverage in the world today. And when I think about even these kind of lyrics, Marissa, I even I have to think about Slayer, for example. Mm -hmm. Slayer is one of the most controversial thrash metal bands, but their most iconic band to this day. And they have a song called Angel of Death. They also have a song called Jihad that's actually uh, using the lyrics of a diary from a famous jihadist, okay? But the Angel of Death was a song about a Nazi doctor's experiment at Auschwitz. But maybe Gen Z's not canceling them, Marissa, because they don't know what Auschwitz is, right? <laughs> I mean, they've been challenged before. I mean, you know what the next group well, I, I think, think is gonna get canceled? Sl honestly, Slayer's not normally on a uh, mainstream. So they probably aren't coming across it. Just like the six books from Dr. Seuss are not a mainstream Dr. Seuss. And nobody would have had an outrage if the publishing company hadn't have said Dr. Seuss Enterprises says we're not going to do it. If they hadn't have published it, no one would know. Well, Seriously. as you were talking about how this is kind of like a, what an like, you know, when you were talking about earlier about Eminem, right? You know, how you're saying with Rihanna, how she had to clap back at some of the, the listeners going, whoa, take a second. You're taking the wrong approach about what this song is all about. I feel like the next song that's going to be in question is going to be Kurt Cobain in Nirvana, Rape Me. No, no. That was an anti-rape song. But you're going to have Cobain. people that are going to hear that okay. line and they're going to question, if, what if the hell does band, rape me mean? The rape me, okay, all his songs on here, but that one's an intense song. Oh, my God. If Z-Gen tries to ban my Nirvana Kurt Cobain, <laughs> I'm going to tell you two little I'm going to get up. Baby Boomer <laughs> on your ass, and I'm going to come for you, and okay. I'm going to sing a Nirvana song. I can kind of see why they're going to have a tizzy, but come on. 